catch. Yeah, and she's she Team combos Empire's really well with Gyrocop. That was one of the things I used as evidence is the VS being strong. Is that she does work really like, Okay, this is not going to happen. Yeah. Nemphi's going to break the smoke, so Funic knows that someone's up there. Oh, good luck, have fun, and, and yeah. Okay, see ya, he's going to turn for a Nightmare kind of save. Boogie's there, and uh, they just let the light and die. I don't... That's the... Are they just going to give the Spirit Breaker opportunity to get leveled? Not certain. For you. It, it seems an interesting matchup because, like, Lycan can just harass him out. He levels up the Howl wow. to start with because they want to try and get a revenge kill here. So with the Howl bonus damage, you throw the Paralyzing Cast now. Especially now the Creep Wave's in range. It doesn't bounce up to him, so Avors gets a little lucky on that front. At the same time, the VDS just dies in the bottom lane. Trixie will lose his life for this, but he just gets a kill for his own life on the off lane. And what's missing, not 100% certain, they reveal themselves. Looks like now the uh, supports of, of uh, Stark are going to have a crack at a Vorst. Vorst does have his two points up in charge, so getting away from this should be too difficult for him. Uh, and until this moment, because if he... Okay, now he's dead. Boogie's movement here too means he'll trigger on the Dream Call. Uh, it's the Witch Doctor who claims the kill. And then you just find that kill. Like, you burn your entire mana pool to do it. Or pretty much your entire mana pool. But it seems to be so effective. Aloha Dance, now a little bit of trouble for him. Fuck. The orb does hit. He's just trying to wait out the dream call, but he can't wait long enough. In fact, he ends up breaking it. What inflicted the lot. Six. Now I instantly just look towards the puck. Hey, they've, they've got to slow down that blink dagger timing of Boogie. If they don't, then that initiation of Stark comes online so much earlier. Trixie, oh, lucky to survive. Ends up being a trade off. Trixie almost got hit by the sun spin and go for that forest strike. The charge is coming on a Boogie too. He's got phase shift, so this won't be a problem. As the force jumps in, but Boogie still underneath the sun strike. He's still going to jaw himself away to safety. As the invoker dies behind the lines, of course Trixie is there. He's got his right, the Matrix going to trigger off. Do as much damage as he can on the way out. The force going for the ulti. <laughs> He's able to finish the job. It's all for a moment. But he's got enough that he has a lane presence. Like, you got face boots as well as having the ring of Basilius. So if he needs to... Oh, okay, Trixie's dead. Uh, back to Matrix quickly before he ends up dying. The Dream Call is holding Funic as well as uh, Aloha there. And Funic's going to give up his life for this too. Try to disappear into the sandstorm, but not possible. I'll be the, the next step. Like, I think Stark did um, okay in the laning phase, but... Did you see him? Did you see him? Yeah, he, yeah, no. he saw him. A wave of terror magic missile. There's still four one charge as well as a nightmare and a brain sap, but it uh, looks like the Bane's gonna die. And they're still only halfway through Roshan. Oh. This, is, this is a minus for Trick. It's gotta be. Because he would have bought the rest of these. Yeah, there it is. It's the Midas. It's a Trixie Midas. Oh, wow. He died to neutrals. Oh, Puck actually doesn't have any mana either, so... Trixie's gonna try and screw with him. If they knew that... That is waiting. He wants to deny. You can see it. It's just twitching for the last hit. And it actually... Oh, the focus that's the Aegis no, the Immortal. No. It was actually killed by the Lycan Wolf. That is Roshan coming the Lycan Wolf. Trixie's still gonna get locked inside of his own Sprout. Paralyzing Cast will stop any kind of chase, but... Greatest, but it's leveled. He hasn't leveled it yet. Like he's got level 11, but that's still only a level 1. Aloha's gonna come over, and now Boogie. He throws out that Dream Coil, and it was still just a level 1 Dream Coil. Trix is gonna TP to try and help out. Sonic, Epicenter, he's inside the tree line, but he brings the damage in. Okay, see ya. He can't really control enough. He tried to go for the Nightmare Control, it's just not doing the work with Barlick. That Death Ward forcing Empire back, especially when Nemphi has gone into Dog Form with the Barra Strike. Basically, clips the heels. And uh, he'll sort of for long enough. He just jumped himself back out. Boogie jumps back in again. But now that Aegis Immortal expanded Boogie face shifting. He needs one more attack oh, in nice to get play. the kill. But uh, he yes, still a force able to finish the job. So Stark is the four towers to the one of Team Empires. Yeah, Team Empire does have a pushing lineup, but Stark can just do like inflict heavy side damage. This kind of stuff will make it a lot easier. <laughs> uh, the perfect time with the jump in for Boogie. Looking for that sandstorm's coming back off cooldown. The bar is strike down. 
Nephi is right behind him. He's able to sandstorm to give him enough time to blink away. The Fiend's grip on a force. Nephi, he could have kept running for fun. Instead, he tries to turn and just ensure the kill over on the Spirit Breaker. But now we can't even get that. The swap out from Nophi. The definitely fired from Scandal. And then they bring back in the epicenter. Funnick on sub 100 life. Still wants to go for another Sunstrike connects. And be the earned charge from a force that gets the kill. Your meteor is going to do so much. Was that charge over on to OKC? Tornado. Oh, look, big guy one shot. Wow. A oh, very strong hero in Volker is. Why? When I UI would play things like the Skyrath Mage, and then he'd just, just get destroyed. Nothing he could do about it. Like, uh, from range, like, oh. uh, wow, okay. Probably should have been watching that one. It's like Epicenter, Blink Dagger, Bar Strike, FB, and Yeah, it's a very strike. fast kill. It shots me, and I literally have no counterplay opportunities. Yeah, it's pretty miserable. I remember the hero that actually was like destroying him because it was a one hit. It was a one hit kill on the Sky Wrath Mage. A boss, nice ulti. And he actually used the TP too, so there's no way out this one unless he just runs it. And that option is there. They're looking for it. Oh, Scandal is so good. Even with that high move. Okay. I mean, like a hero that's supposed to have this like max mobility, but. Invoker just keeps doing anything the whole time. Oh, Avost? Great TP out. Where's your son? There's a fiend script. Could have potentially nightmare, but that might have given her offensive. Uh, like uh, it's really bad with um, yeah. Aegis. Any transforming heroes are, but they yeah. may still give it to him just because, you know, he used to carry. Uh, I think that. Just me stuff. Oh, that was funny. Oh, uh, Trixie? Um, Trixie? He was going for the train to try and kill off the courier. And all of it by a turn on him. <laughs> what did I say, Toby? Earlier about Trixie. If he, if he, he thinks it's something worth it, that could happen, that possibly would be worth him leaving away his life. If he's dead. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, with a voice right behind him. Oh, okay, they need, they need the nightmare or something. Now it's going to be Sark losing three plays in very quick succession. Giving an opening for Team Empire. Yeah, Havors burned his beacon. Um, respawn. Vage does also tick down a lot of that creep wave, so Valus can get rid of the rest of it. It's, uh, okay. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try and Trixie again. Tower. Nephew will take it. He can still TP back, but no, he burnt Necrobooks. So they're going to try and go for some semi-trade if... Stark can slow down the push, so there goes Necro Books. Instantly, Aloha is already taking them out. Trixie, a boss. He's still way too deep. It allows OKC to hold his position, but the BK has been just protecting the entire time. A big dream call is forcing Empire to stay here, but they're very happy to remain here as well. They swap Farlick back in again. They're still finishing up the ranks. They've got the big one, which is the melee ranks. No fear. Trying to run back out again. He'll drop Meanwhile up on top. Nephi has taken out the range rank only. The bottom rank is fully done. Funnick coming in with that epicenter. He'll borrow a strike in. To them he needs a little bit more time. He's going to end up killing off Funnick. The is on the deck as well. A force will charge in. Nephi just needs to finish up the tower off the rack. He's able to do so. Where is your bash? There's your stun with a buyback coming up from Funnick. Nephi's out of form time. And now Funnick will actually just burn him down with the sandstorm. It ends up being a rax for a rax troll that observe ward, which just got planted down by Empire. So they know if Stark try to initiate in from the eastern part. This in fact, they should have seen the smoke, but Roshan's already done. The Pyrus Wrecker from Funnick, able to reach Boogie. I don't know if that Pyrus Wrecker can reach further than a meteorite, but right now, Spirit Breaker on the run, and he's getting munched down by Nempi. They're gonna finish the job. Do they try and turn now? You've still got a low dance to that black hand, who's working the double Pyrus Strike and the double Tornado from Funnick, as well as Scandal and Combo. I'll end up killing off Trixie. Yeah, Scandal's played this really well. Granted, he's got like a great team to set him up for success. Um, he's got like a lot of really Sunstrike kills, which gives him the early experience to really succeed as an Invoker, but he did not drop a beat after that. You know, he set him up for success and he utilized that advantage that he had pretty damn well. So the celebratory Divine Rapier. Glory, last item of, of, uh, of the Gyrocopter, just to screw with all the stats men that are out there. Got it before the end, so we guess to count. Did he actually sell everything to pick that up, or he had? He did, no, he had the money. He actually had the money. So anyway, GG, game number one is over. Team Empire will be victorious.
one hell of an invoker play by Scandal. What's going to happen in game number two in our last game of the night? We'll find